In today's video, I'm going to give you my reasons why I use Cartoon Animator 5, so stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel. The channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation and is just starting out. And if that is you, welcome, you are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. Now, if you are new to animation or you want to start out and you don't know what software to use, well, um, that is why I am doing today's video. Um, one of my community members, um, they ask, um, and this is, I hope I pronounce your name correctly, is said is from Sofraz Kasim. So again, I hope I pronounce your name correctly. And he emailed me and he said, Hello, Eon, you might not believe that, but my story is very similar to yours. But the only difference is that I'm still looking to create something amazing in that field. So let's see what I will be able to do in the future. But here's a question. I'm curious to know why you use, um, why you choose cartoon animator software for your animations. It would be um, highly appreciated if you made a YouTube video on that, or if you have already created that video, please share the link. Thanks, um, Safraz Kasim. So Safraz, that is why I am making this video today, and I hope I'm gonna answer your question. So um, why am I using Cartoon Animator 5? Well, there is five basic reasons now this is just my experience um full disclaimer i'm not getting paid by by reillusion the company that produces cartoon animator 5 um and also i haven't really used any other software so maybe if i use other software maybe i might change my mind and feel different but at the moment i am very happy with cartoon um cartoon animator so um I don't see myself um, changing anytime soon. Um, I'm really happy and this video is really to tell you why. And if you are new to animation and you are currently looking for um, an animation software, hopefully this, um, uh, this video will answer your um, question. Maybe it will guide you in the right direction. Uh, maybe you can try out Cartoon Animator um, for yourself. And also, if you are new and you're looking for uh, animation software, stick around till the end of this video. Um, I'm going to share something that will really help you and get your journey going. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video. So the first reason why I absolutely love Cartoon Animator 5 is the user interface. It is very easy to understand um, you know exactly where everything is and I am from um, Just to give you a little bit background why the user interface for me is so important um, I'm from or my background is actually in the music industry I've got my own recording studio and I use Cubase as my recordings and mixing software but a lot of people will say the industry industry standard is Pro Tools and in a way it is kind of true because all the large studios um, use Pro Tools in their setup. So if you want to really pursue a career um, as a sound engineer, you kind of have to know Pro Tools because if you want a job, chances are that you're gonna need to be able to work in Pro Tools. Now, in my case, I never wanted to work for a big studio i've got my own studio and i produce and record my own music i've got my own clients that i make music for um, so i use cubase now at the end of the day um, the the end results if you know what you're doing the end results whether you use cubase or pro tools or any of the other recording and mixing software if you know what you're doing, um, the end result will always be good um, because you need to know the basics of audio mixing like compression and EQ, reverb, gain staging, all of that. Um, so it doesn't matter what software you use if you don't know 
audio mixing, audio sound engineering. Um, so for, in my personal um, opinion, the software, it doesn't matter what software you use, you need to know the basics of sound engineering. So with that said, for me the same applies in animation. You need to know the basics of animation. Um, so then the end result to a large extent will be good. Um, especially if you work for yourself, you create your own animations and your plans aren't really to go and work for an animation studio. You just want to do it by yourself or you want to get start off. Um, then for me, the animation software, it doesn't matter what you use. You need to use something that is very, that suits you and your workflow because um, you need a software with a very easy user interface because you don't want the interface to stop you from creating, especially when you are um, ve when you feeling very creative. Um, there's nothing like feeling creative. You've got a great idea, and when you start to work, the software is kind of it's very difficult to use. Um, so you really struggle, and it. It's almost as if the software is holding you back. And that is why I love Cartoon Animator because the user interface is very easy to understand. I know exactly where everything is. If I have an idea and I want to do something, I can just open up the software and I can do it. I don't have to worry about the software holding me back. So that is a long explanation but I wanted to give you my reason why the user interface for me is so important and, and I do understand a lot of people will say that yes if you want to do 2D animation uh, or 3D animation the industry standard especially like in 3D animation the industry the industry standard is Maya. So if you want to really go and work for an animation studio one day, yes, of course, you'll need to go and learn how to use Maya. Um, but if you're going to just animate by yourself, then the software doesn't matter. Then you need something that really works for you, that you understand, you feel comfortable with, and you know exactly how to do uh, or how to get the end result that you are looking after for. So, um, so the first thing for me is user interface. The second thing why I love Cartoon Animator is the updates. Um, every time I started using um, Cartoon Animator when it was still Cartoon Crazy Talk Animator 3, <laughs> um, and it was very limited. And even before that, if I look back at um, Crazy Talk Animator 2, um, the characters were really limited. Um, you couldn't really create, or you could create awesome animations, but it was kind of difficult. But with each release, um, the software improves so much. Um, from when I moved over to Cartoon Animator um, 4, my animations, the things that I could do, it just improved so much. And now with Cartoon Animator 5 that was just released, now I can do squash and stretch. There's um, physics. Um, so the hair moves and now my animations are looking even more better. So you can just imagine with when they release um, Cartoon Animator 6 and 7, my work will just get so much better. So the updates, in my opinion, is really, really worth it. Um, the software is really um, improving quite a lot. And that is what I love. Um, every time when there's just a like a hint of a new update coming, I'm really, really excited. So Cartoon Animator 5 recently um, launched and um, it is a massive improvement. And it will just improve your animations if you use Cartoon Animator 4. Um, in the past, Cartoon Animator 5 is just such a big step up. So every time when they release a new update, there's a massive step up. Um, and that is what I love. Um, they, the guys at Reillusion, they keep pushing the, and the softwares that they create for the users to create awesome animations. Um, you can even do mocap on 2D animation. I mean, how awesome is that? Um, so... The second reason why I love Cartoon Animator is for the updates. The third one, and this is quite important, especially if you are new um, 
um, to animation or new to a software is um, the tutorials. Um, I truly believe that tutorials is a must. If a software um, doesn't have great tutorials, and believe me, I do have um, I do have used softwares in the past with no tutorials, um, then I mean it's really difficult to get going or to learn the software. And the thing with um, Cartoon Animator, it has great tutorials on the website, on the Reillusion website, um, on the YouTube channel. Just go to the YouTube channel. They keep releasing um, videos, uh, tutorials, updates, everything. So it's very easy to stay up to date with their software and how to use it. Um, so their tutorials is absolutely amazing. So that makes the learning curve to learn the software even easier um, and so much faster. You can really um, purchase a software, watch the tutorials in one day and the next day you can be up and running and you can start creating animations and that is what I love. And I say this because that is how I started. Yes, I did take an online course, but I also, um, I never took an online course for iClone. iClone is Reillusion's 3D animation software and um because they are very similar, I could. Um, it was easy for me to understand um, iClone because the user interface is very similar. Um, but I've learned everything just about iClone and Character Creator by just uh, watching Reillusion's tutorials on their YouTube channel. And you can definitely do the same with Cartoon Animator. So if you want to start out animation you've never animated before and you're very scared you're not going to understand the um, the software then cartoon animator is a definite um, software that you can, can consider because the tutorials is absolutely amazing and you will learn the software without even purchasing a, an online course to learn how to use the software then the fourth reason why I love Cartoon Animator 4 um, or 5 is the motions. Now, to be honest, I don't use the motions a lot. Um, the only motion that I use is the walking motion. Um, because in some clips of my animation, there's like five to six characters walking at the same time. Now, to animate each one of them individually... It's going to take me forever and it's so much faster just to drag a motion, a walking motion onto the character, um, point it from A to B and the software does the rest. So it speeds up my animation process so much. Um, there's other things, um, mo other motions that I also sometimes use, um, especially the, um, you know, I can't remember... Uh, what it's called but it's just like shapes um, like if you have a prop um, and you just want a the prop to move in a certain way so it's not a character but it's a prop um, so I, I sometimes use that as well especially for um, logos if I have a logo that needs to appear then you've got like an entry um, motion and then also the exit motion. So maybe the logo is coming from the um, bottom to the up, and then it just um, goes down. Stuff like that. So it it it's so much easier just to drag a motion on top of something, and it's already animated, and you can maybe just adjust it. Um, so it really speeds up my animation pro um, process. Um, that is another reason why I absolutely love it because. Other softwares, especially with walking motions, it's gonna it's it's really tough to animate a walking motion alone. So if you've got like five characters in a scene, you can just imagine how long that will take. And that will bring me to the next one, the final one, and that is the marketplace. Uh, you can actually go and purchase uh, motions or characters if you can't draw backdrops. Um, so I love to purchase different mo uh, walking motions so that all my characters don't walk the same um, because not everyone walks the same so 
it won't be nice if you have just one walking motion and you add it on top of all your characters. But if you have a variety, that really helps. And um, so that's why I love the marketplace. And something that I love to purchase on the marketplace is special effects. I don't normally buy characters or backdrops because I create my own. Um, but like special effects, like water splashes, that is something that I can't animate. I don't have that animation background to do that but you can purchase um, water splashing or a fire sequence like a candle the f um, stuff like that I love to purchase that because just to add a candle in your scene and the fire um, the flame on the candle moves um, it just adds so much realism to your scene um, I love to add stuff like that into my scenes um, just to um, give it a little bit of life and a lot of those things I can't animate um, if I have like a lake then you can purchase like the water ripples on the lake um, rain um, there's a whole weather set that you can purchase um, thunder I use the thunder and the rain quite often because it saves me time um, so the fifth reason why I love cartoon animator is for the marketplace so just to summarize it quickly it is the user interface the updates the tutorials the motions and the marketplace those are the five reasons why i absolutely love um, cartoon animator and maybe yes there's other softwares that also have the same uh, let me know in the comments below um, do you use cartoon animator and let us know why, why, what are your reasons why you love the software. Or if you are using another software, um, maybe you're using Moho. Um, let us know in the comments and tell us why you love the software that you are using. So the most important thing for me is this YouTube channel needs to be a community and we need to support each other. So as I've mentioned earlier, I've got something if you are new to animation. Um, I've got a free training video. Um, so if you've never animated before, this training is for you because it will help you. You will work alongside with me step by step. And by the end of the video, you would have created your first animation. And the software we use is Cartoon Animator. So basically, you will download the 30-day trial. So you'll be able to get it for free for 30 days. Uh, you can work alongside with me. You'll create your first animation you'll know the basics of animation which means you can then go and create your own animations you'll have all the knowledge and um, yeah you've worked with the software and then you can decide whether you want to purchase cartoon animator or not um, so if you want that training um, just click in the description box below there's a link you can go and um, I will uh, you can sign up and you can just take that online training. It is absolutely free. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And until uh, next week, um, God bless and happy animating.